In this lecture, we're going to discuss the effect of catalyst on the equilibrium position uh, and the rate of forward and backward reaction. So let's say we have we have a, a reaction in which uh, sulfur dioxide is reacting with oxygen and it is producing uh, two molecules of SO3 and vice versa, the reverse reaction is also happening. Sulfur trioxide is decomposing at the same time and uh, it is... Uh, producing uh, SO2 and O2 back again and all of these products uh, all of these uh, the reactants are gaseous and the products are also also in gaseous state now this is a reaction which I picked from the contact process now if I add and let's say the rate of forward reaction and the rate of backward reaction are both equal and let's say this reaction has reached equilibrium the rate of forward and backward reaction is equal and if I add a catalyst, now the catalyst which is added in this reaction is V2O5. Uh, let's say I add a catalyst and I'm not concerned with the with what type of catalyst I'm adding. I'm just adding a catalyst. So, cat, so V2O5 catalyst is added in this equilibrium. What happens now is uh, that when you add a catalyst, a catalyst basically speeds up it speeds up the reaction so it speeds up the reaction and the way it does that is it reduces the actuation energy by reducing the activation energy so it speeds up the reaction by reducing the actuation energy. Uh, all reactions require some amount of energy. So the actuation energy is the energy that is needed when you start a reaction. So if that is reduced, it's easier for substances to react with each other. So uh, so basically a catalyst does is that it, it speeds up the reaction. Now in an equilibrium, what a catalyst does is that it speeds up both, both the forward and the backward reaction equally both actuation energies are reduced so both both forward and backward reaction speed up backward reactions speed up and if both reactions speed up then no side would be favored no particular side would be favored no uh, since both reactions are speeding up equally which means that equilibrium does not shift or favor any particular side let me cut this out so your equilibrium does not favor any side or we can say it remains uh, it remains unchanged it remains unchanged or unaffected so your equilibrium remains unaffected no side no particular side is favored which means that if 100 molecules previously 10 molecules of SO3 were produced every second when you add a catalyst 100 molecules are going to be uh, of SO3 are going to be produced every second but previously 10 molecules of SO3 were decomposing and now 100 molecules are decomposing every second so both reactions speed up but the net amount or the net quantity of SO2 and O2 and SO3 would remain exactly the same. If 100 get consumed, 100 would be formed again. So there would be no effect on the equilibrium position or the amount of SO3 that or O2 or on the amount of SO2.